Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to fix the error Windows could not start Windows update service on a local computer but the main error message is on the Windows update screen and it displays error 0x8005005 To fix this error, search cmd and run command prompt as administrator and then in the description below I'll have both commands The first command you want to type is sc delete wuau serve and then hit enter and you should get a confirmation message saying delete service success Once the service deletes successfully you're going to want to copy and paste the following which I'll also have listed in the description below sc space create space wuau serve space display name equals space quotation marks windows update space bin path equals space quotation marks C colon backslash windows backslash system32 backslash svc host dot exe space minus k space net svcs space minus p space start equals space delayed dash all space depend equals space rpcss and then hit enter again and you get a message saying create service success then once the service has been created successfully you're going to want to come to either the paste bin or the media file link in the description the paste bin will take you to this page where you can just select download and then you're going to want to remove the .txt extension so that the file ends with the .reg extension windows update service fix.reg select downloads save or if you prefer to just download the file straight away you can just come to the media file link and select download make sure the file ends with .reg and then select save Open File Explorer, go to your downloads, and then double click the file that you just downloaded. You'll be prompted with a security warning, this is completely safe. Just select Run, it will then prompt you with another confirmation. Are you sure you want to continue? Just select Yes. And then it will say the keys and values contained within the file have been successfully added to the registry. Just select OK. Then restart your computer. And then once you restart your computer the service should be fixed. To check that the error is gone you can go to Updates. And then you'll be able to check for updates and download all the updates that you're missing. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, it really help the channel a lot. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.